what do you think I should see before I take off? You know, I'm just here on my motorcycle. I'm, I travel the Coachella Valley and surrounding areas documenting my travels. Okay, so we made it to the Salton Sea. I'm gonna go in and take some videos, but this is about 65 miles from Palm Springs. I've been trying to get out here for a while. So this is awesome. So Tony, Tony here, who is a state ranger. As technically park aid rangers are the law enforcement of the park systems. Okay. So I'm not as cool as a park ranger, but okay. I'm still important cog, I suppose. What do you think I should see before I take off? You know, I'm just here on my motorcycle. I'm, I travel the Coachella Valley and surrounding areas documenting my travels. But before I leave, I'd like to get your take on what I should cover, you know, like what's outside here? I, I, this is my first time being here and you guys are my first stop pulling in here. So in this immediate area, we have a well, salt sea right here on the shore. Okay. Uh, you can get a, go down there and get a good whiff of the salt sea smell. I heard about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And currently, well, this is pretty new and developing. We may have soon a new mud pot or geyser out there. Oh. Since we recently we've been hearing some bubbling okay and so that's been a pretty interesting development as of late and so i could go out there maybe try and see if you could hear the book pretty We're, likely that we may get another hot spring out here really yeah okay well i've been hearing things about the lithium oh, content yeah. and, and there's a lot of speculation going on and people are investing or, or looking into the possibilities of things so i've been hearing a lot of stuff about that yes um but you know, I've, I've had a couple of folks and subscribers suggest I come down here. And I was like, okay, I'm here. <laughs> you know, but I did smell it as on the approach and I just watched the video and they kind of quickly explained how the uh, nothing, there's no bottom feeders or whatever to eat the, the, the dying, anything that dies off here. Yeah. So it gets, so it gets washed up. So I'm gonna go check that out and I'll look for this uh, potential geyser. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Um, well, I appreciate you, Tony. Um, hopefully you'll be a new subscriber of mine. I'll give you my information and you can check, you can check out some of my, my videos. 
Um, but I appreciate your time here today and being here for us and having this place open so that I can talk to you and you can, you can show us what, uh, what's going on out here. Um, you're awesome. I appreciate you, brother. All right, I'm going to go do, do some exploring. Thank you. Ooh, okay. So here's where the creek is he was talking about. Check that out. I gotta put a new battery in. We are reaching battery shutdown mode. This is no bueno. Oh, crap. Okay. So this is as far as I'm going. Because I'm sinking. I'm sinking in this muck. But look at that. Isn't that cool? We made it, folks. We made it to the Salton Sea. It only took me a year and a half. But there you go. Pack it in and pack it out, people. If I didn't worry about falling in that, I'd go get that. But I'm concerned right now. Clean these shoes. I could have thought that one out a little better. <laughs> All right, so let's follow this here stream. See what uh, Tony was talking about. just goes. Look there. Chum. Very cool. peaceful. It is funky though, but it's peaceful. Very cool. any dead fish or anything but this stuff here seeing beachfront in California with no people on it. I mean, I get why. I wouldn't want to get in that water. Tony, mark this thing with an X where it's supposed to be gurgling. Potential for a future eruption. seeing what he was talking about, talking about. I think that's going to do it for the Salton Sea. 
It is, it is gorgeous in its own right. A little pungent, but uh, it is something to behold, I'll tell you. It just goes on and on. Look at those mountains back there. That's cool. Okay, now I gotta get across these rocks. They don't look as easy as my first rock. All right. Well, I gotta tell Tony, I did not see what he was referring to, but that's okay. Well, I think that's gonna do it, folks. I'm gonna wrap this up. Head on out. Got me really curious about this Box Canyon Road. So I'll videotape the ride. So you guys get an idea. I'm always looking for a good ride. I think over there where the where the RVs are at, over that area, I think it's far enough away where it wouldn't be knocking me over the head with this snow. But I want to thank you for joining me here today. You missed out on a very smelly afternoon with me. So just consider me taking one for the team where that's concerned. If you do me the favor of liking and subscribing to my channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you notice that little QR code there at the top right corner, and you're watching from the television, take your cell phone out, point your camera at it, and take it directly to the YouTube channel. Subscription button should be front and center. Hint, hint. As I mentioned in the video, the next chapter in the show to start with Docks Canyon Road Ride in California. It's outstanding and one of my all time favorite rides. 15 miles of desolate rock formations. Just imagine driving across the surface of Mars. Disregard the occasional semi truck or RV along the way. Thanks again, and as always, when you're out there on these roads, especially on a motorcycle, be careful.